Hi friends! I am going to make a new painting video and in this video I was going to make um, a story to go along with it. So whether or not you want to paint along or paint a picture, you can watch this video and it's going to be a little story about some critters under the sea because I know a lot of people have been going to the beach. The beach has been a really nice place right now. The wind is really nice and the air is really fresh there. So um, I'm going to paint a little story about some critters that live underwater. Since we were doing stories today, a morning meeting, I thought I would start off my watercolor and my painting with a story. So I am making a little painting about a starfish because I have been to the beach a few times recently and I always see um, sun or sand dollars but I never see starfish but I know that they're there underwater so I thought I would paint a little picture and make a little story about I wonder what the starfish are doing underwater. So here you may see it's a little bit light right now but I'll go over it with orange. Here's my first little starfish. We'll give this starfish a name. This starfish will be named Starry. Starry the starfish and Starry lives under the sea in the Pacific Ocean off the coast of San Francisco. The waves are really big but the water is really cold so a lot of people don't go swimming there. So Starry gets all of the sea to himself. Starry the starfish just likes to lay in the sand and let the water wash over. So now, now you can see it. It's coming out a little bit brighter. I'm using a really small brush to make this. And now I'm going to make the sand. Two little dots. I'm going to start off with yellow dots and then some orange dots. For the sand that Starry and his friends live on. So first you'll see these little dots coming out because I think starfish like to lay down. I always see them, they're always laying down. So I think where do starfish lay down in the sea if the sea's water and it's always moving? They probably lay down on the sand. And they kind of look like sand, so maybe they lay on the sand so that they can hide and that they can blend in. So now we have some sand coming out. If you want to paint sand, it's really easy just to make little dots. It looks just like sand. And I'm using just orange and yellow, just like the color of my starfish. And here we go, we have the starfish coming out, laying in the sand. And this is a really happy starfish. Starry loves, just loves laying in the sand. So I'm going to make a happy face for our starfish. For some nice big eyes. This starfish has blue eyes, just like the blue ocean. So I made some big eyes, some eyelashes. The starfish has nice eyelashes. Then we'll take some blue and start to make the waves that the starfish lives under. Some waves. And then adding some more water. We'll come back over for the water. Because Starry is such a happy starfish, I'm going to make a big smile. There we have the starfish laying underwater in the sand with a big smile. 
make sure you can see that. Now I'll go back over with a little bit of red. And now you can see how beautiful this starfish is. So, this starfish is really happy, so I bet Starry the starfish has some friends. So we will make some friends underwater for this lovely sea critter. Super bright with the orange and the yellow. And really happy. So here, side by side, I'll make a little friend. They're going to be almost holding hands as they lay on the sand in the water. See, their hands are really close because they are best friends. Maybe you have a best friend or someone in your house hold who you get to spend a lot of time with, just like this starfish does. And you can think about them and think about that person while I'm making Starry's little friend. I'm thinking about my cat, who is a very dear companion of mine. Makes me very happy. Maybe you're thinking about a dog or a pet or even a stuffy, something that you hold tight and makes you really happy. So here we have these two friends and they're laying in the sand. So let's add a little bit more sand. Lots of these dots. Because there's lots of sand at the bottom of the seafloor. Okay, and now we'll give this starfish, Starry's best friend, a little smile. There we go. They both have big smiles because they're super happy, good friends. And then I'll go back over the starfish fins. So they're basically holding hands. Here comes my cat. Uh oh, she's looking into my watercolors. Uh oh. <laughs> out. She likes to see what I'm doing. Okay. And then I'll do these two eyes for the starfish's best friend. No eyelashes for this one. Now you can see we have two friends sitting at the bottom of the sea. And then I'm going to paint some more water. I'm going to switch over to a bigger brush. And just cover the sea with water. And you can think of the waves the last time you went to the beach. The waves are really big out here. And they're really cold. So it's not easy for people to swim here. But I love swimming. And these starfish love swimming too. And my cat wants to drink the water of my watercolors, but I don't think that's a good idea, so I'm not going to let her. So here we go, I'm covering all around them with water, and I'm going to go back over with a little bit of blue, just touch, touch, and see how dark it's becoming. And you can watch this video with a friend or a parent and think about a good friend and what that means to you and what it means to be a good friend to somebody. Because these two starfish have been together through thick and thin. They watch out for each other. 
They always got each other's backs. And they're best friends under the sea. They probably go on lots of adventures too. They probably float around. Maybe they encounter some whales. I've seen some whales before around the Pacific Ocean. Maybe they encounter a shark. Maybe they have avoided sharks before. Who knows? Because, you know, starfish see a lot underwater. They're pretty mysterious creatures. So here we go, we got the water coming out really bright all around these two starfish friends. And then I'm going to add a little bit of seaweed, a little seaweed forest. I know all the kids at Room to Grow know about seaweed because I see almost everyone eating it almost every day at lunchtime. I remember almost every kid loves seaweed. I'm not super crazy about it, but I like seaweed and sushi. I've also seen lots of kids at Room to Go eat sushi. So, we can all think about where seaweed comes from. It comes from the sea. And it makes a little sea forest that starfish probably play in and hide in. And they see little fish there. And then I'll make a teeny tiny little fish. Here we go. Here is a little fish who's swimming with our starfish. They're probably good friends. He's coming up. This little fish is coming up to say hello to the starfish. Make a little eye and a little smile. I know a really good book that we have at school about a fish who stole another fish's hat and he goes to hide in the seaweed. So maybe that's this fish. Maybe he's gonna go steal someone's hat. Or maybe he already stole someone's hat. So, here we go. We have our little underwater scene. We have our friends here. Starry, the starfish, and Starry's friend. And then we have this little fish who probably just swam out of the seaweed. And they're laying in sand. And I hope you enjoy this video. Maybe you get to watch it with someone you love. Maybe you want to go give someone a hug after seeing these two friends. Or maybe you want to go visit the beach or paint a picture. Whatever you want to do after this video, whatever inspires you to do, you can tell me or you can talk about it at morning meeting sometime. But I hope you enjoy this video. Thank you.